so now the weather condition is much better we don't have any more rain and it's uh, dry on the road as you can see behind me uh, so we will go for a ride but before I can take the uh, bike for a ride I will check out my gear we had some mice in the house so this is I think it will be okay this old helmet I was thinking about replacing that but Just across the street of our house, we have Åsa Landhandleri. Åsa Landhandleri was uh, established in 1892 and is one of uh, Norway's oldest uh, grocery stores. I live in Åsa. And Åsa is a little place, it's not a town, but uh, we have our school and we have a, a grocery store and we have a museum. Um, Åsa is uh, in the countryside. There are approximately 400 people living in Åsa. And uh, it's very, very nice place to live with a lot of possibilities for uh, hikes in the nature and uh, a really calm life uh, with not much uh, traffic or noise so as you can see here all of a sudden the bike uh, has a problem and i realized that it was low on gas because uh, i haven't checked uh, the gas tank and i put the bike on uh, pre and uh, all of a sudden it came back <laughs> okay but uh, that's not good with these old tanks with the, the rust and the debris in the bottom of them as you can see the rain is coming back also so i realized that this first first ride was going to be short as you can see more and more rain coming down Here we go to Dam Chern, to the left, and to the right we go to Sunvold. To the left is the road we took for the first uh, destination with my bicycle. And if we take right, we come to Sunvold, where I showed you the paragliding facilities. You see the rain is just coming down more and more heavy and I took a decision to go back home for today <laughs> 